weather forecast with meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Good Monday morning to you. The time is 518 waking up to very warm, very muggy conditions. Temperatures in the 70s and 80s. Dew points in the 70s. Today is going to be very uncomfortable when it comes to high humidity, which means our Skeeter meter will be running on the higher side for the next several days, despite us having higher rain chances in the forecast. And we'll start this morning with some wet weather. Not all areas will see some wet weather, but we have some showers pushing in from the Gulf, mainly south of I-10 as we speak. Currently moving into the Baton Rouge Metro. A few stronger thunderstorms just near Morgan City this morning. You see the flashes of lightning down in Morgan City closer to the coast. Rain chances today, rain coverage will be around 70%. So a good portion of the area will see some wet weather today and some accumulated precipitation. Not just that, we have a marginal risk for some strong to severe storms. The main threat will be some damaging wind gusts, but any any thunderstorm that develops today will have the potential to produce gusty wind, frequent lightning, heavy rain, which could lead to some uh, localized flash flooding in low lying areas, the areas that are prone to flooding. And if you get a stronger thunderstorm developing over your area, again, you could easily see one to two or more inches of rain in a short amount of time. Rain chances will be on the high side in the coming days. We have a trough just to our west that's going to slowly push to the east and then a few passes disturbances in the upper levels of the atmosphere and we have a good bit of moisture in place that's going to lead to some higher rainfall uh, totals and then some higher rain chances in the coming days before tapering this weekend. So to run through the future cast is the HRRR model showing a few batches of showers and storms moving across the Baton Rouge Metro and across South Louisiana through the morning. Again, not going to be an all day rain. We'll likely see a few breaks before more showers and thunderstorms push in later this morning into the afternoon. The best chance and best coverage for rain will mainly be later later this morning through the afternoon hours before tapering later this evening. We should be mostly quiet overnight, although a few showers and thunderstorms will be possible. As we head into Tuesday again, we'll likely see just a few passing showers and thunderstorms at times before rain coverage increases through the morning and then into the afternoon with showers and storms again off and on for the next few days and again the best chance for rain currently does look to be on Wednesday early Wednesday and then rainfall totals for the next five days look to be anywhere between two and three inches of rainfall but keep in mind with any stronger thunderstorm you could double those amounts so your weather headlines have the umbrellas ready for the next few days this will lead to cooler temperatures but higher humidity also the Saharan dust is expected to move into our our region later this week which could lead to some some uh, lower air quality issues, but very nice sunrises and sunsets. Again, today 87 and then overall the tropics are quiet. This one little area just uh, off the coast near Cape Cod has a low chance for formation. And then, as I mentioned, Saharan dust will lead to hazy skies, vivid sunrises and sunsets, possibly some lower air quality and then limited tropical activity. So that's the good news there. So be sure to check back in with us and again, stay weather aware the next few days as we'll have the potential to see stronger thunderstorms pretty much any day this week. Let's get a quick check on the traffic real quick. Uh